Hi there, I'm Joey. I'm Jacob. And we are watching Star Trek for the first time. Last time on Star Trek, the Bermuda Triangle. Sort of. But yeah, really. That and like <laughs> Nichelle Nichols and James Duhon just carried the entire episode. Oh like, god, yeah. Like not, not that like, you know, their performances were so good they held up the whole thing. Like they were. But just like for they were literally the entire episode. <laughs> right, I know. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Um, I just, I wonder, like, I, I imagine it has to do some, with something like, like, they couldn't hire more than a certain amount of actors per episode. But there are random episodes here and there where they do get actual guest actors, and it's right? just like I don't quite get it. Like, that's apparently the reason that that uh, that Chekhov isn't in, isn't in the show because they couldn't yeah. hire more actors. Okay, I kind of get that. But then we get Roger C. Carmo back as as uh, as Mud. It's, it's, I think it's really weird. I think it is worth pointing out that the only other actors that aren't the regular that we generally see are named characters that people liked seeing before. Mm -hmm. Which does kind of mean there's no con in the show. Yeah, yeah. That is interesting. I wonder if Con would come back. At Anyway, um, today we're watching an episode called The Ambergris Element. I believe that's how you pronounce that. Ambergris? I believe it's a real element. Like a kind of rock or something. Mm. I think? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not pretty that, sure. I'm not that up to date on um, that front. But yeah, The Ambergris Element. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, doesn't tell me anything, but I guess that's, we're going to find yeah. out. We're going to get into post episode this, thoughts. It could be pretty much anything. In a second. Be sure to join us then. We're about to watch The Ambergris Element. Oh man, that. Uh, oh wow, that <laughs> that was uh, an episode. I'm not sure I've ever been more bored by this show. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh wow, I I am not a fan. I don't even care that the train's going by. That's fine. I don't care. This was. Uh... God, what do you even want to talk about? Oh man. Ah. Uh... There's a train going by. There's, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, actually, I did write this down because I haven't brought it up in the recordings yet. Uh, I made a joke last time that uh, that the first two lines of every episode have to go to William Shatner and and uh, and Leonard Nimoy. In that order. I'm pretty sure that's what's happened like every fucking episode. Yeah, we haven't made a note of it every so, time. Yes, yeah, since, since I started noticing it, it has not broken that pattern. So, I think that's pretty funny. I don't know if that was like something they had to do, or if that's just how it always happened, and it's just, it's weird. I think for script reasons, it kind of just makes sense yeah. that, you know, Captain Kirk does his captain's log, and then the next line is, So Spock, tell me about the exposition again, please. Yeah, yeah. That's how they get their exposition out of the way, and also, you know, it's just, you know, they're clearly the two people being paid the most to be on this show, so, yeah. you know. Um, there's a sea monster. Uh, one. There's Total. A, a sea monster, and there were some fish people, who really should have been drawn with some goddamned expression. I I gave myself like nom flashbacks to when I checked out the <laughs> 1967 Aquaman cartoon, which was also pretty terrible. Although I think I had a little bit more fun with that. I uh, this this just oh well, man. yeah, I mean, that, that's the show where he rides the giant seahorse, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That at least is fun. Yeah, that has fun with itself. Yeah, it's just I like oh man, I I do not feel anything. God, so what happens? We should at least say something about what happens. I said what happened. There's a sea monster. That's <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. There's a sea monster. Uh, Kirk and Spock go missing. I thought for a little bit that we might have, have a McCoy-focused episode for I once, because he's the one examining them, and they become like fish people then, and so McCoy is like trying to like figure out what to do with them, and then they, we just shift focus to Kirk and Spock anyway. So I mean, how funny is it though that the Aquans save them, but then immediately toss them back on land? Yeah, yeah. Um, That's kind of funny to me. So Kirk and Spock get these like webbed hands; they become fish people. It's, uh, one of the things that kept going through my head was fucking Polly from the Underwater Menace. They're not turning me into a fish. That's, that's... But they did turn them into a fish. And that's, that's the plot. And then they have to become not fish. Wow, this is a really long train. It's, it's, <laughs> how is that still going? I don't know if you can hear it on the recording. It's still fucking going. Um, Much like the episode, it just kept going. Yeah, it just kind of kept going. <laughs> Um, oh, wow. Oh, fuck. Uh, so they have to go find not-ancient Greece. Uh-huh. And 
find records of what happened when they uh, when the, when there was the first ground quakes. Uh huh. And they get these like medical supplies that were from this Earth like society because you know every single Star Trek planet is just Earth. Um, but with a with a planet of hats. Yeah. Uh, they get the venom from the fish monster, thing. which is a sacred apparently. And then Kirk and Spock are cured. And then, I don't know, I guess the Aquans are safe now? Well, yeah, because they diverted the, the, newest, uh, the, newest ground, the newest ground quakes. Yeah. I'm glad you picked up on that. I, I, dude, I just did not care. I, I was just... like, I was like, okay, hang on. There's Aquans on the, on the, on the, on the ship. That, there's a reason for this. Uh-huh. So I started listening a little more carefully. Well, I applaud you, good sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know if the episode's actually bad, though, is the thing. No. I don't know if it's bad because I just didn't care enough, you know? I like, think it wasn't bad because if it was bad, we'd have more say. Maybe that makes it bad, though, the fact that it failed so spectacularly to grab me in any way possible. Maybe. It's possible. I think it's its bigger sin is that it was just so damn boring. Yeah. I'm also just really upset that we barely, I barely had a crew in this. It was just Kirk, Spock, McCoy, Scotty, and a dialogueless appearance from Chapel. Just kind of chilling in the fish tank similar yeah. to, the, to, a more re- to, a, to a recent role of hers. Mm-hmm. How long has the Enterprise just had a fish tank? A giant fish tank lying in its... its I'm telling you, this ship just... It's like R2-D2. It could hold anything it needs to. Yeah, as long as the plot requires it. It, it even has now like this little like glowy ray thing that like, sparkles around McCoy to like keep him safe inside the fish tank from the water. I'm pretty sure that's the same life suit that they used in the one space episode. In what? Early in the season, remember when they they found the ancient ships around the dead sun? Oh, yeah. Is I, that meant to be the same thing, though? I mean, it looks like the same thing. I don't know. But again, it's just, the, the, the Enterprise is like RTD2. It can hold exactly what the plot needs it to. Yep. And we're never going to see it again. Oh, man. I got to pet out like one more minute. So, um, <laughs> let's do some statistics. Oh, okay. Uh, we have sure. three episodes left in the season. Right. We have nine episodes left in the whole show. Which is weird. We're almost almost at the end. We're in the, we're in the back half. We're getting there. Um, those are the only two that I had. <laughs> and and you can tell we're really stretching with this one. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, that was all I had. Oh man, fuck it. This oh, but dude, I just like I whatever. This I'm, is such a nothing episode, dude. Just, <laughs> like I just I hate talking about this, so I'm gonna end it now. Fuck it. Um, I guess that about does it. Like I don't know. Was there anything to talk about really? Like no, just, they didn't learn any greater lesson. Yeah. Um. Oh, whatever. Um, I guess be sure to join us next time when we continue Star Trek the Animated Series. And hopefully a much better episode. Until then, this has been Joey Morgan. I'm Jacob. Goodbye.